Hey everyone, today I'm going to be walking you through the hyperspace tunnel used in these scenes. So I'm going to dive right on in, opening up UE5. As you can see, I've got the hyperspace level already opened up, as well as the level sequence for the cinematic. Now, things aren't quite looking as they did in those renders yet, so let's dive onto the world outliner here and see what we're missing. First up, let's take a look at the hyperspace tunnel mesh here. We can double click here onto this mesh, open this up, and we can see this big old tunnel. Let's speed up our view here. This big old hyperspace tunnel model, it's essentially just a stretched out cylinder with the ends tied off at either side. Very similar to the tunnel actually used in Jedi Fallen Order. This mesh happened to be made in Blender, but you could make it in any 3D modeling software. Now back in the level, let's unhide the hyperspace tunnel. As you can see, we can pretty much immediately see some good hyperspace action going on here. Now, my goal wasn't to perfectly recreate the hyperspace tunnel from the movies, but to create my own interpretation. So the next thing I wanna show is breaking down the hyperspace tunnel material. So we're gonna open up our material instance here, and you can see a few parameters I've laid out here for a material instance. And if I open up the main material here, we can see where the magic is happening. This looks a bit complicated at first, but in reality, it's just two different noise textures being driven to move by a few different parameters, as well as a bit of emissive magic here. Now, if we jump back into the level sequence, you may have noticed my own artistic change to the hyperspace tunnel in the renders, the darkness that was showing up behind the Ebonhawk. However, looking back here right now, it is completely even. That's where this exponential height fog comes in immediately you can see the difference. If I click on the exponential height fog, the settings are pretty much default with the exception of changing the fog in scattering color to black. However, now if we look towards the front of the tunnel, we can see that it's black as well while it wasn't in the renders. To get that white glow at the end of the tunnel, we can turn off our exponential height fog and turn on this white glow folder, which you can see is just a point light and a white sphere you can probably see the problem that we're facing at this moment. If I turn on this exponential height fog, it looks great in the back, but the front looks absolutely horrible. So how was this render accomplished? Well, let me jump into our camera actor here, and we can see in the back here, everything looks great with that darkness. But if we scroll forward some, we can see something pretty rough. Now we can turn off the fog, and get that beautiful white effect that I was going for, but if we scroll back, we lose the darkness in the back. So what's the solution? Well, it's pretty simple. I just put a hidden cut right here. As you can see, if I turn the fog on and off, there is no visual difference, so it was very easy to hide a cut. So the first part of the sequence is rendered with the exponential height on, and as we cut to here, the exponential height will turn off, and the second part is rendered with just the white glow. After the fact, I combined the two shots with a hidden cut and was left with this final render. Now, for the end of this render, let's turn off the exponential height fog, the white glow, and the hyperspace tunnel. Now we are just drifting in space, and if we scroll forward, our planet will appear. I'll make a separate video on how Tatooine was created, but for the purpose of this video, it was used very simply with two keyframes to scale the planet up and appear. Once again, you can see that some extra work is gonna be needed to combine all of these shots into the final render. So I had to render out all three different shots along with some stencils of the Ebonhawk, combine those with this hyperspace exit effect and a flash to white and we get this final render. Thank you so much for watching this breakdown of the hyperspace tunnel. If you enjoyed this video, check out the others on the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.